it's Alicia and welcome back to Alicia's Crafty Hoplop. Happy Saturday, y'all. Happy Saturday. It is early afternoon. The husband and I have been enjoying. It's such a beautiful day here in Florida. It's got this slight Florida overcastness with glimmers of sun. It's beautiful temperature out here on the Lanai. We both like the heat. So for us, it's perfect. You know, it's the y'all sign behind me. Um, I'm on to share with you a few little things. Yesterday, I did a bunch of stamping, y'all, and making of handmade ephemera. Now, the stamping I did because during the live, many people mentioned that they are doing the Julie Nutting uh, tag swap. Now, I knew that Heather's Handmade Haven and Kathy Catsell Create were doing it, so my intention was to stamp out for them some of the Julie Nutting stamps that I've collected over time. Y'all know they all came from my mom. My mom has bought me all of my Julie Nutting pieces because... Um, well, she just has y'all. So I had uh, three or four and I found out that Heather and Kathy didn't have them. So I thought, well, they'll come in handy for the next couple of swaps because they're Halloween and Christmas themed. But then on the live, I found out Miss Bertha is also doing the swap and so is Chiquita's crochet. So yesterday I spent some time doing some stamping and y'all, let me tell you something. The Stampin' Up ink worked so much better than my Ranger ink. I'm gonna show you the difference. And then I did a little fooling around to get certain colors. So this is one of the, the Julie Nutting stamps I have. This is the reindeer, it's super cute. And it comes with a scarf and a North Pole sign. This is in the Stampin' Up! blue ink, the navy blue, which I thought was nice for Christmas. Look how beautifully crisp that ink. I told my husband yesterday, um, I didn't understand that the Ranger ink was making me put more pressure on my hands because I, I had to like press pretty deep into the ink pad to get a good enough coverage. The Stampin' Up! ink is nothing like that, y'all. Nothing like that. The ink goes on nice and clean, even on new stamps that haven't been seasoned. Did a wonderful job, so I was super impressed. I was so frustrated with that Ranger ink by the time I had used my Stampin' Up! inks. Truly, such a big impressive difference. But this is the reindeer one, y'all. And then I have this one that my mama sent me. And this one, you know, she's wearing earmuffs and she has a little uh, uh, outfit on with the little elf boots. This one is done in the Stampin' Up! pink for you. Super cute color for Christmas. And she comes with extra accessories and this really nice sentiment. So I did some of the sentiments in black, but I also did them, look at this y'all, in the gold. Um, this says, may your holiday twinkle with magic. Now this gold is not the, how do you pronounce it, the Delicata and it's not the Memento ink. This was some, I don't know, some brand I got on Cherry on Top. So it wasn't as perfect, but once I got it rolling, it worked pretty well for coverage. And I do love the sentiment in the gold, but I also did some of black, cause not everyone's gonna want it in gold. So you see what I mean by the Ranger, y'all? Inconsistent, and that was a seasoned stamp. I was pretty frustrated. And the same thing with the girls. I did do some in black. Um, not too impressed with that Ranger ink. So I did that one. And then I have a third nutting, and this girl could be used all year round, not just for Halloween, uh, because you can see she, she could be dressed up to be used for any of the holidays or just regular tags. But she comes with like a cat eye mask and a little cat for Halloween. So I did these, but I, I tested it in the mango from Stampin' Up! and I didn't like the tone of the orange. The ink was great. I just didn't like the tone. But then I combined my Wendy Vecchi blendable inks with my Distress Ink from Tim Holtz, and I really love the color she came out. So I did her in those. So I'm basically basically going to send out some rack packages with these so that people that are doing the swap don't have to buy another nutting stamp. They can just use these that I've stamped out for them. So that was one of the things I worked on, y'all. The other thing I worked on was this ATC for Becky Long, because y'all know she has a challenge up right now, and she wanted a birthday card but I thought I would also make her a dimensional birthday ATC. And you can see it's a chunky dunk. Oh yes. Um, I put a little cute pom-pom. This is Crepe Paper's Hooray. And I built it all up. It says, happy, happy day. And it's several layers of the chipboard. I did add a little teeny prima flower. And this is one of those teeny little bows from Allie. And then of course I added sequins for the cheeks to make it extra cute. Um, but you can see here, y'all, I'm gonna have to watch the glue in the humidity. You see how that came a little loose? I'll tell you, the Floridian humidity beats out even the one in the Holy Land. So 
I'm finding that certain glues are working better and I'm figuring that out. I may need to test out some Gorilla Glue because I know Tony Craftbridge always swears by that. But look how cute. So that's the Memdex for Becky Long. Um, and her, there's a card to match that and some other things. Then I worked on a, I don't actually know Trina very well from Trina's place, but because I'm supporting Gina's challenge, I have to send uh, an ATC for, to Trina's place. And so I made her, I'm assuming she's girly like, like Gina, but I don't know, I hope so. Cause I certainly went girly y'all. Um, this is Stamperia. This woohoo is actually, I believe it, this might even be from the hooray. This is one of the girls. Uh, this is a punch uh, in a metallic glassy paper that I did using a punch. These are little sequins I adhered and I did distress stain that up. So that is the ATC for Becky Long. Uh, sorry for Trina's place, not Becky Long. And then I worked on a whole bunch of sequins mixes. Um, I worked actually for several hours making up a whole bunch of all. So I did some fall. Uh, these are like fall leaves and fall colors. I did up this black and I love this one. This has got pink ghosties in it and it's blacks and pinks and iridescence. I love this one. Then I did a Martha Stewart unicorn fairy mix, which is super pretty with all holographic pinks and holographic unicorns. Then I worked on a pastel Christmas mix, which has got, do you see those little pastel Christmas trees and the pastel snowflakes? Um, really love this one a lot. All right, and then there is this traditional Christmas mix, which has everything from little gold stars to resin candy cane pieces in it. And then there is a blue kind of like under the sea with aquatic pieces in it, which I call an oceans mix. And then there is a blue first snowfall mix with little iridescent blue snowflakes. And then I don't know why, but I really just felt like doing one with this turquoise and the lime green and the iridescent stars, but I really like how it turned out, y'all. So uh, I also did a traditional one with little green Christmas trees, golds, so a whole bunch of sequins mixes got made for rack packages, a whole bunch of Julie Nutty, Nutting Nuttingness, and I also got this super cute pack of M&Ms, and it says, I love being socially awkward with you. And I thought, I really bought it just for this saying, because I thought this was great to gift to Heather and Cruz, because, you know, we're, the three of us are sometimes a little socially awkward. So I thought this was perfect, and look at the expression on this. And that, y'all, is my share for this lovely Saturday afternoon. My holiday weekend is being spent uh, packaging up. Y'all know packaging for me takes as long as making. I don't know why, y'all. Even if I do simple packaging, it just, my husband's like, why does it take you so long? And I don't actually know the answer. I'm just slow and I'm picky, even if it's plain. So I'm gonna be packaging up a whole bunch of things to get out. It is a holiday weekend, so I forgot. I was gonna go to the post office on Monday, but I can't, y'all. I can't go till Tuesday. And that's a gift because that gives me an extra day to do some packaging um, because I want to get out a bunch of these things to everybody. And I want to also finish up a couple other projects that I've been working on. Don't forget tomorrow is our fall collab that I'm co-hosting with Brian. My project, my project is done and already uploaded. And I have some other project shares for you this weekend. I'll be making some handmade ephemera and finishing up some other racks. And I have a happy mail, y'all, so I'm excited to share that with you. And I have that 10 cent paper haul from Joann's, too. So it's going to be a fun weekend. Um, I'm looking forward to just crafting. I'm going to do a little tidying, a little reorging, and lots of packaging. I don't know what you're up to this holiday weekend. If you're in North America, I hope whatever you're doing is something joyful. I hope you had a morning like the hubby and I did. I hope you spent some time just sitting back and appreciating one another. And if you're anywhere else in the world. I hope this weekend just gives you lots of joy and creativity. And I will see y'all later on today. All right, y'all. Take real good care and happy Saturday to you. Happy Saturday.